like to be honest what I think of reaction videos <laughs> What is up my fluffy buns? I just got back from working out and just ate breakfast Also just drank some coffee It should keep me like awake for a moment I'm not sure how long I know it doesn't last that very long Because sometimes I might feel sleepy And then sometimes I might feel awake Yeah, but now I'm feeling so motivated I want to vlog today And I also lost weight today Yesterday I gained like 139 But now, but I lost like two pounds right now i weigh like 137 i feel like yesterday i ate a lot i don't know i just drank like one green smoothie that's it but i don't know i did eat some little junky i have a problem we all go through like stress eating or bored eating i just went to the internet trying to find out whether poached eggs are safe to eat apparently they're not because like, i'm not sure like if it's undercooked you might get salamella, which I don't want to risk myself with salamella. I don't know, I'm trying to like eat eggs healthier, but like I never enjoy like boiled eggs. Like, I mean, it's good for you, but it doesn't taste like pleasantly, like it's nasty to me. I don't know how to make it taste good. Do you guys like boiled eggs? Just like comment down below, like how you make your boiled eggs taste good. Like to be honest, like I'm trying to find a way I had to like make eggs healthier, but I personally prefer like fry eggs. I really want to get the Canon G7X vlogging camera with the tripod but then I'm in trouble with what SD card like in you know, the storage is and all that stuff like I try to get like I guess maybe the highest as possible I don't know it might be a little expensive. I want to get it on my birthday but I feel like that's a little bit too much since I want to get a Final Cut Pro on my birthday so maybe next time. Just a little trouble with you know which vlogging camera is better or something. I might take you guys to like go grocery shopping because well I might need something okay like here's the thing I don't know why but sometimes when I feel like I need something but sometimes I want something like there's a difference like needs and wants yeah sometimes I don't know why but I feel like I'm buying unnecessary things but I don't know I have a problem today I just want to get like some cinnamon powder or paprika powder maybe for seasoning or something we all make that mistakes where we buy unnecessary things or something I just recently got a comment from yesterday named Andy Vo. he's like I guess Sora, a friend of mine, but I don't know. He does like really great, like I'm assuming he does like reaction videos and some vlogs. I don't know what is his niche is, but like you guys should go check him out, which I'll link his YouTube channel right down below. Yeah, he just commented saying like I should do like reaction videos or challenges. Like to be honest, what I think of reaction videos. So like you might get some like pros and cons of doing reaction videos. Like one, it's very entertaining to watch, like someone reacting to it. It's not like a talent or something. I did do like some reaction videos, I think. I don't remember. It takes a long time to edit. Like for me, when I did the reaction video, it took me like a whole day just to edit this one reaction video. How I really do reaction videos? Well, I just basically watch the video and then I just talk about it. Well, I don't like show the video on camera. I just like when I watch something and then I'll tell you guys something. Yeah, that's basically it. Like. That's what I rather do. I mean, I want to enjoy videos that I want to record. Like, I know I want to make you guys happy, but I just want to enjoy having fun, like, recording on the camera. I'm not sure if I want to do reaction videos. Maybe, but I don't know. I think, like, most YouTubers that I watch are mostly reaction videos. Like, most of the time I watch Reaction Time, which he does, like, really good reaction videos. And James React. <laughs> but James Rath does like really great reaction videos too like I feel like most or everybody does like reaction videos like Sniper Wolf or Isaiah Land like Atozy like I can name so much more maybe that's all the names that I know people who've done reaction videos also for challenges I'm not sure but I did done like challenges in the past where I did with my cousin Sophie the spicy noodle challenge and the what's in my pants challenge too that was like really kind of new I guess, I don't know, people were doing it. I don't know why I stopped doing challenges because, well, it's not a vibe anymore or challenges are not that interesting. So what I'm saying is I'm not like a challenge channel. I'm more like talking to the camera, that kind of video. I'm not sure if this is a vlog or a sit down video. Well, I'm sitting down basically, but I'm trying to make this as a vlog, even though I'm not like going anywhere. So like vlogs, is not the part of the destination. It's about you telling the story where you, the person, had the personality to tell the story. Like yesterday, I tried to like post one of the video clips from my yesterday's video. Didn't turn out so well because like, I tried to like send myself a message 
to that one of those video clips if that makes sense yeah having little like technical difficulties and like i had to end up like re-editing my one of my video clips in iMovie on my iphone if i ever gonna like promote my youtube channel i'm probably gonna start doing like video clips so like you know me posting my thumbnail in my instagram what i like i usually do but i'm gonna change that i'm not sure if you're looking for the right person to react one video but i'm not so sure i'm gonna have to think about it but i don't know i think pewdiepie does like reaction videos like he does like a whole variety like gaming and i'm not sure if he still does gaming videos but I know he does react to like some videos, I think, but I'm not pretty sure if you're looking for the right person like me just to react to some videos. Like the thing is, I don't know what is my niche. I'm just basically just talking to the camera. That's all. Like nothing really special, just me talking to the camera. I went through YouTube and I searched up like how to vlog like David Dobrik, how to vlog like Emma Chamberlain and like here's what I think. I think people should not like vlog just like them because like you need to like be yourself, like you know, like your original self. There's no point of like trying to like be like Emma Chamberlain or be like David Dobrik. Like I just don't understand what's so special about them, but I don't know. People find them entertaining. I don't think you should like try to attempt editing or vlogging like a style of Emma Chamberlain. Yeah, it's just that like for me, this is how I vlog. Okay, I just basically talk to the camera. Sometimes I might change to different backgrounds and all that stuff. But right now I'm just staying in this one place because. I I need this lighting. I don't think you should like try to be someone you're not, especially like editing style. So like, I could have just taken you guys to go grocery shopping, but there's nothing really else to film because I don't want to film like the boring parts. Yeah, I even watched this one YouTuber named Alicia Marie, I think. But she says something about like show instead of tell, like, you know, show me like, you know, go to the grocery store or something. I don't know, but I would take you guys to the grocery store. I feel like I don't like filming in public. I mean, I should be, but I know it's hard. Not the best advice for me to vlog about vlogging in public. When I just came back home, I was about to film, and then first thing I know, my mom turned the TV way up high, the volume. I don't know what's going on with the TV. My TV is just YouTube or something like i don't particularly watch tv i just basically watch youtube i don't know if that makes sense you just worry about the whole freaking tv this morning i didn't feel like i want to go anywhere especially like grocery shopping i don't know i felt so tired that i want to go to sleep like this coffee does not last that very long for me to stay up yeah i mean it didn't turn out how i wanted like i want to take you guys to grocery shopping but and plus like i'm not used to like vlogging in public plus i don't want like any people in it because like some people might sue me for putting someone the camera or something i don't know what i'm trying to say is i wish i could include people in my life in my vlogs if i had friends i would put them in the vlog but but i'm an introvert so i'm just basically my own main character here just like talking to the camera like it'll be like much more entertaining than just me talking to the camera other than me some people might not care about me talking and some don't or interesting life or something i don't know yeah and this is why i'm lame just came back from work i gave my little big thing for my boss and like she kind of liked it but the only problem is i kind of like over mix it i don't know i couldn't tell whether i should stop or not but yeah that's basically it so i'm not sure how i really feel about baking but this is probably the last of it maybe i don't know right now i really want my youtube channel to be successful that's all i really want to do thank you guys for watching please give a like subscribe comment down below wherever you want hit that notification bell no video, and i'll see you guys in the next video